Give me Elijah Wood, everybody. Hello, my dear. Hello. How lovely to see you. I've got to say, I got to, before I ask you about the clip, which was confusing to me. Was it confusing? A little confusing because it was a dog, but it wasn't really a... Well, you've seen it, clearly. Yes. Yeah, well, I found it a little confusing. How is it confusing when you have your own talking horse? Yes, but this is a crap show with crap things in it. <laughs> You're doing a good show with acting and stuff. You can afford to have a real dog. <laughs> Is, what's the conceit of that the dog? The conceit is that it's essentially, it is a dog. Right. I, I see a man in a cheap dog suit. Oh, it's your perception it's of the dog? It's my perception. It's like, um, you ever see Harvey? Yes. It's like Harvey, but if, if you could see Harvey. Right, like if you could see Rupert Murdoch. Right. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch does own FX as well. He owns FX? He's in some hot water, huh? Oh, yeah, he's in trouble now. Yeah. He's not in trouble. He, he can have Britain cancelled. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna have to cancel this entire Ireland. Get out! You're all fired. Oh wait, do I work for? No, I don't work for Rupert Murdoch, do I? No, no. You might. You might. Yeah, I he might own, actually. He owns yeah. A lot. Yeah. He owns a lot. He saying. does own a lot. Yeah. You ever met him? No. No, no, me neither. Sort of scares me. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. It's kind of like Doctor Evil. It's sort of. <laughs> no, I think Doctor Evil's probably more. Kind of benign, then, uh, yeah, um, um, perhaps. Yeah, because Dr. Evil does the. Uh, uh, That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think, I think Rupert Murdoch does that. He just no. goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me this then. You yes. see the, uh, the guy like a dog. Yes. And Everybody else sees a dog. Dude, you've been in gray shoes. I am. Is that wise? Is it? Well, they are kind of dirty as well. No, uh, gray shoes. I mean, that, uh, well, it's sort of like a. Well, everything's gray, gray but you've yeah. got gray shoes. I know. Well, would you wear black with a suit like this? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Would you? Yeah. With yeah. a suit this light, though? Well, I don't know. Well, what else color could you wear? I mean, you could wear black. I could do blue. Or, I could do blue, blue shoes. shoes. I don't know. Oh, is, that too, no. is that too much? No, that's a, blue bit, suede that's a bit Blue suede shoes. Yeah, blue for suede. Brown. Yeah, blue brown. suede shoes. But that's a real choice. I mean, blue suede shoes, the thing is, is after that song, right? Right. Anyone wearing blue suede shoes... Has to say, don't step on them. Well, <laughs> there's that. And it's, it's going to... The song's going to come up. It's going to be referenced. I don't think I could comfortably wear blue suede shoes. Well, you don't like Elvis? How long I have love, you been, Yeah, how long have you been in Al-Qaeda then? <laughs> I love Elvis. Oh, you do? I do, I love Elvis. Elvis you ever been to Graceland? Never been. Oh, it's great. You've got to go been? there. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the jungle room and uh, the planes and everything. It seems like a madhouse. Oh, well, it's... And it's pretty well run now. I think when Elvis was there, it was kind of crazy. <laughs> now you just pay for your ticket and walk around in a little circle. It's fine. Yeah. Don't you go around to great American sites and look at them? I do. Yeah. I just never been to Graceland. Oh, all right. Have you ever been um, that one with the faces on it? The Mount, uh, Mount Rushmore. Yeah, yeah, that one. No, I've never been there either. Oh, so where have you been then? Uh, God. A couple of fancy boutiques. White, well, White House. The White House. House? Yeah, yeah. Tried that's a tour that's of the White House. Yeah, really? No, not not what, while the president was there, but yeah. I paid like you a tourist. You broke in? No, like a tourist. Uh. <laughs> Would you ever become a burglar, though? Bur like a cat burglar? Yeah. Would be kind of I think ba I, I've always been fascinated by bank robbers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Well, you would rob a bank? Well, I just think the, like, if you watch those great heist movies, there's right. something incredibly romantic about the act of a heist. Not if you're the cop guarding not the at bank. All. Yeah. Not at all. But, you know, those, those sort of heists where no one's hurt, but the, the actual mechanics of the heist are very well thought out. Oh, yeah, you with these movies when they, when they boo the little you thing see? and they go, okay. How they, much, they, like, yes. when you're watching Ocean's Eleven, how much do you want to do that? Yeah, I do. I like, it, for me, that kind of thing in a movie Who is like you when be? you get the binoculars scene in a movie see? as well. When you see the Kremlin through binoculars. Right. Yeah. Have you ever been to Russia? No, I've never been to Russia. I've been to Russia. I've been to, I've been to Prague. That's Close not, to Ukraine. It's not Russia. No, it's not Russia. No, no it's Eastern Europe. That's like saying, have you ever been to Canada? No, but I've been to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, all right. Yeah, fair enough. Have you, have fair you been enough. to Florida? Uh, I have. Yeah? Yeah. What's your favorite part of Florida? The tip? The airport? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm not a big Florida fan. Really? What do you, you don't like the, the warm weather and old people? Uh, you know what? I've not, <laughs> I've not spent enough time there. Yeah, no, I've, never, I've, never been, uh, I've never been to Miami, and I've never been to South Beach. Miami so I think those are, are super... Oh, different. great. Yeah, yeah you love well, where do you, What do you like to do then? You don't like to salsa dance and stuff? Sure. I don't know if I'm much of a salsa dancer. <laughs> well, what kind of dancing do you do then? Um, I don't know. Macarena? 
<laughs> I don't know if I do any specific. I think I just move. And you know, however, however, the music sort of moves me. I move to it. Do you go to Do you go to the clubs? Do you go? To no, the... I'm not a big fan of clubs. All oh, right. Yeah. So how do you? You know. I just you know. How if do you I meet go the to ladies. I, how do I? How do I meet the ladies? That's a good question. I mainly meet women through friends. I don't necessarily well, go you out. Go out with your friends. You get their no, girlfriends. No, no. You, know you that... steal their girlfriends. No. no. No, but you know that thing where, where people, in a, you, you, you sort of meet people in an organic way. You meet your friends, friends, right. and that, that sort of gives way to potential relationships. That's not a bad way to do it as well, because then you, yeah, you can screen them pretty easy. Yeah, and there's yeah. also a built-in connection that's sort of organic. The idea of meeting someone out, and I've certainly done it, and it, it, it can be equally exciting, is, is just, you don't, you don't quite, you don't have that pre-screening pre thing. It's right. not as organic. But that might be more exciting, the, the idea of an assignation with a relative stranger. And by relative, sure. I don't mean actual that, blood. That, blood that is, that is, that is exciting. Have you ever dated a blood relative? Um, <laughs> I have not. Not that I know of. All right, that seems fair. But have you ever, have you ever seen that, that documentary on the BBC about, they, they actually did a documentary piece about uh, siblings who did not know that they were siblings and met later in life and became lovers? were in like really oh yeah so they had children they had children they had children they had, but they didn't know until after they had fallen in love and then they realized that they were brother and sister that's intense that's a it? little what a bummer but, yeah but, but you know if they listen but if you'd never if you'd never met if you never if you if you see this girl and you fall in love with her yeah you'd never met you had no idea and then yeah. you find out that she's your sister well luckily you all my family are hideous so we're right there we're right. well then you're safe yeah yeah no i'm all right I mean, hey. no disrespect to both my sisters. Hey, so you're you're a drummer. Yeah, I drum a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, you, you play the drums? I'm, I'm trying. I'm I'm gonna take lessons. It's something I've always wanted. Lessons? What's wrong with you, man? It's not lessons. It's just hit. I just get a get a drum drum. Yeah, just bang it around a little bit. Did you have, did you play in bands when you were young? Yeah, I did. Yeah, they were pretty bad though. What were the what were the bands? Oh, you would never have heard of any of them. What were the names of the bands? No, why are you doing this to me, man? I just... <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought we were getting along pretty good. We were, we were. It's because I said that, that crack about the grey shoes, isn't it? You, you let it simmer for a while and then tell me the name of the band. I, I, saw, you, I saw you coming back. I was like, oh, oh, and then suddenly, boom, I'm like, ah! <laughs> it's a little blindside. Yeah, no, Sorry, I, it's, uh, it's all right. What, yeah. kind of, what kind of music was it? Punk uh, music pretty bad, or? yeah, punk rock. Yeah, That's yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was all right. What kind of music did you play then? Uh, well, I don't really play any music. Well, you, you're going to start. I'm going to start. What would I play? Soul. I play rock music, soul music, soul, funk music. Yeah, yeah. Especially on drums. Yeah, that's good. Get a beat going, yeah. Yeah, no, it'd be, be nice, yeah. It'd be cool. What kind of drums do you like then? I don't know, like uh, Ludwig's. Ludwig's? Like old. Oh, yeah. Like I'd want to get a vintage set, I think. A vintage set? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, that's a, you're starting off, just get yourself you know, one drum. Just get a set. Just get one drum. Get one drum. Yeah, start with well, one. Well, I've done that. I mean, I've, yeah, I've, start I've one had drum. like a little... A little uh, fills, little power like diddles. Snare, little, yeah, snare, just get a snare. Yeah, yeah. And get it nice and loud for the neighbors. Do you live in an apartment? <laughs> I don't. I live in a house. You got a house? I do, yeah. Uh, that's that Lord of the Rings money, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the three you... movies money right there. That's like, oh, we're making another one. Oh, daddy needs a little more. House money. <laughs> yeah, live in a house. That's one of the swankiest bastards we've ever had here. Isn't it? <laughs> one of them house livers. Yeah. Straight after that, it was C apartment. Hello, house. Yeah, nice. That would be good. Are you going to do the, the Hobbit? You going I to am, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Are you doing Frodo in The Hobbit? I am, I know. He doesn't live during the time of The Hobbit. But yeah, kind of. They've, they've basically written a little piece that will take place. It's kind of like a flash forward. Right? Oh, okay. That will be so, good. Yeah, no, yeah, no you, yeah, it's awesome. Well, it's kind a little of... More, uh, a little more house money. <laughs> Look, for me, it's an amazing opportunity to revisit a time in my life. I mean, those films, we started making those movies 12 years ago, August, wow. which is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a long time And ago. so many of the original actors are coming back, a number of the same crew. I mean, it's largely the That's same. That's kind of good. It's like a high school reunion. Totally. Yeah, yeah. It's totally. Nice. Like a giant... Hey, we've got to get out of here. Um, <laughs> do you want to do uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or touch my glittery ball, or touch my electric glittery ball? Mouth organ. Mouth organ? Yeah. Right, I like your style. I'll kid. do it. All right, then. There you go. Thank you. Okay. What am I doing here? Uh, just uh, blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> So to speak. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you play? I would be so, you know if you played, you wouldn't. I'll say that as a...
Just thought you had me hey, going for a minute. Pretty good, right? No, no, it's pretty good, but not good enough. <laughs> Out of time. So uh, quickly, uh, just do uh, one, two, three, and then we'll go. Okay. All right then. One, two, three. Elijah Wood, everybody. <laughs> Elijah Wood, everybody. Elijah Wood. Ah. Uh, oh, rip him up. Howler, you do that, don't you? You don't, you don't just do the act, and you do that. I do. I don't make those noises. Why not? Whilst, whilst doing. Well, you do, but you're the DJ, right? You're yeah. DJ, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't you? Do, what's your DJ handle? You know, I don't have one. As You've got to have one. I, I, I toyed with DJ Elwood. Right now, it's just Elijah Wood, which just seems weird. No, no. I'd man. rather go undercover a little what bit. What about? Uh, so what I get that thing if it's if, if if it's my name, then people are there with the cameras taking photos. Right. It becomes a thing. They're not listening to the music, so got to come up with a name, a moniker. Well, uh, what do you what think? About, uh, 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 here come the player. <laughs> Here come the player. Yeah, yeah. Here come DJ, the... here come the player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kids would love that. They'd totally. be like, here come the player. <laughs> do you, now, do you do that? Yeah, uh, with records. All right, right. You don't, you, don't I used just, to, you don't just do that. I don't scratch. I right. don't scratch. But I used to play, I played with CDs initially, and right. in New Zealand, actually, I, I learned how to do it. Because I would carry, like, case logic Is that filled part with of CDs. some kind of Hobbit training? <laughs> they, they teach you how to... He's like, no, you're going to learn how to scratch. That's where... Come the player. <laughs> Come get off. That's where Dom learned how to DJ as well. Really? Yeah, we both started together with CD right. mixers because we always carried all these CDs with us. Right. And then iPods came out and it became easier to cart around music on a little device, on a mini device. Yeah, I know what they look like. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, hey, I've been to Manchester, dude. Hey. Uh, have you ever been to Manchester? I've actually, I think I've been through Manchester, but I've never spent any time. You a fan of any uh, musicians from Manchester? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Joy Division. Joy Division, man? The Happy Mondays. Happy Mondays, maybe? Um, uh, Stone, Roses. Stone Roses. Stone Roses. Stone Roses. Yeah. Aren't, aren't a certain ratio from Ma Manchester as well? Yeah, we don't talk about a certain ratio. I love man. a certain ratio. Oh, no, man. No, no, no. <laughs> what the happened? We were friends. Now we're enemies. <laughs> No, I don't do a certain ratio, oh, man. No, no. The shorts and the sub-jazz funk, whatever the hell that is. I love it. I love it. No. New Order? Yes! Early, yes! Early yes! Early We're order. back! We're friends again! We're friends. Yeah! Oh, oh, God. No, that's great. Oh, that was so close. Well, listen, the, uh, the, the, we talk, let's talk about this. Yes. It's good, right? It is good. Right, so... I, well, I, mean, I think so, yeah. We, done, oh, we, done, we did it. it. We talked about it. It is. It's, we talked about it before. It's we did. Like everybody else sees the dog. Yes, everyone sees a dog. I see a man in a dog suit. Right. Uh, with a zipper and everything. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, it's like Harvey. Is that, that Photoshop did he, or did he really lick you there? He did really lick me. Yeah. Uh, but I think they extended his tongue. Uh oh. Yeah, his tongue's not that long. He's not Gene Simmons. Right. Yeah. Are you a fan of Kiss? The band? <laughs> no. No, not the band. The technique. Yeah. I <laughs> Which kiss do you prefer? Do you like a little bit of tongue, a lot of tongue, or do you like no tongue at first and then maybe a little? Hello, I like a mix hello. of both. I like the, yeah. all the, the hello, hello is the worst. Oh, no, no. It's the worst. No, hello, hello is it's like we're kissing, we're kissing. Oh, this may go somewhere. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. hello. Kind of knocking at the door. Just like, okay. Knocking at the door. Enjoy of the yourself. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like a little mix. <laughs> I've kissed I the band. Sure, I like kiss the band. You what? I like kiss the band. Oh, you like kiss the band? Yeah. Makeup or no makeup? Uh, makeup. Because yeah. when they took the makeup off, oh, it had I to be a them. serious band. Oh, boy. Sorry, guys. But. No, I saw them play live in Glasgow. Uh, Did you? Yeah, on the No Makeup Tour. I was like... <laughs> the no Makeup Tour. Like, what the hell is this? Stripped down. Who are these guys? It's awful. It was like a Kiss tribute band with oh, ugly no. people. It was much better when they get the makeup on you. Like, ah, there they are. Yeah, way better. You're not a big fan of that kind of rock, though, are you? It must be hard to... I'm going to play. <laughs> with, have you been doing that recently? Kids. Have you been doing it? I have. I was in, uh, I was in Belfast. Oh, there, there's a city. For the first time. Yeah. I've never been to Belfast before. Right. Uh, and I DJed two nights there for Bushmills Live. I was actually at the Bushmills Distillery. Do you uh, enjoy their product? I do like their product. <laughs> I'm afraid either I liked it rather too much. Too much? Yeah. Did you? I'm no longer permitted. Right. 
<laughs> in Belfast. Uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, so you were there. You're doing you yeah, were... doing it there, and then uh, on the way back home, stopped in London and DJ'd in Dalston. Have you ever been to Dalston? Wow, that's in South London, isn't it? Uh, East London. Oh, is, no. is like next to Islington. I used to live in Islington. Did you? Yeah. Islington's beautiful. Yeah, it is now. <laughs> Actually, it was then. It's just I wasn't particularly nice. It, it was a bit of a rough part of town, right? Nah, don't, don't, it's all right. They're, yeah. so, they're Cockneys. They're so, they're like, all right, guys. Yeah, all right. right. Hey, you was all that right. that thing, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. You was in that. He kept the playing. <laughs> yeah. No, it's nice. Did you have a nice time over there? I did. It was great. Yeah, it was great. I was only there for a night, but I ate some delicious Turkish food and DJed for like five hours. That's fantastic. It was awesome. Yeah, you're living the life, man. I've been doing a lot of traveling. I this think is, that's okay. This is genuinely, I think, the busiest month I've ever had in my life. Really? Yeah. I, I left here, flew to New York, drove three hours to uh, Massachusetts, drove back to New York, flew to New Orleans to get to Baton Rouge to shoot two days on a film, then flew back to New York, then flew to Belfast to London and back home. <laughs> uh, uh, t t t Your job doesn't seem so boring now. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. Uh... And then I DJed last night at, at the Wilfred rap party. Oh, for the yeah, the Wilfred for the, the show. show. Yeah, for yeah, the show. The, yeah. The, uh, you see uh, your dogs. Uh, uh, what's that? What's I don't know. It's the show. Oh, oh, I, <laughs> I didn't expect you to do jazz hands. I like to do the unexpected. Well, that's that's kind of like that. See. That's nice. What's going on with the Hobbit thing? What's happening? Uh, <laughs> they, they're they almost wrapped. I think they have their wrap party soon. Right. Uh, the film. Are you going out. down there for the wrap party? I was going to try, but I'm not going to be able to make oh, it. Oh, come on, man. It's only New Zealand. You go everywhere else. You might as well go down there. I know, right? Yeah. Add that to the schedule. Yes. 12 hour flight. Hey. I, I can you fly directly from LA to New Zealand? You can. Yeah, straight to Auckland. Oh, okay. And then another flight to Wellington. Yeah. Right. But I'm not going to make it. <laughs> You gotta go, man. If I know. You, if you have to go. You're Frodo, man. You have to go. I know. You gotta go. Gotta have a homecoming. You gotta. I mean, come on. That's your peeps there, man. It is. You learn, <laughs> you learn to do the, here come the play. It's true. There. It's where it all started. It's where it all started. It's where, it's where, where you the play started. started. You could like. I am so gonna do a DJ set soon as DJ Here Come the Player. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna invite you. Yeah, you can't invite me. People will think their grandpa's come arrived. The no, you can't. They'll be like, what? Grandpa's here. I'll be like, here come the play. No, you, you can't do that. I, I missed that boat, I'm afraid. I don't think so. Oh, really? I don't think those days are over. Yeah, no, they are. are you, you're me. a drummer, right? I was, yeah. So you could do uh, live drum accompaniment. We could uh, oh, yeah, that's do a little Here Come see. the Play yeah, yeah. live drums. Yeah, that, that's what they want. It could be an act, Craig. An act. Crikey. I'm in. All right. Yeah. A Vegas review. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Let's, <laughs> we'll start off here and we'll go to Vegas. Well, let's start in New Zealand and then go back to Vegas. There you go. All right. So long, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back See after ya. the break, though. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So, uh, I'm here with Elijah. How are you doing for money? Are you good? <laughs> I, I, I'm all right. You not, sure? Not, not strapped or anything. All right, because I was going to say, you could, I mean, I've been kind of phasing out the big cash prize okay. ending, but if you, the money was tight, I could probably, you know... I mean, I'm, I'm down with a cash prize. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> You, you want to try for the cash prize? I'll try for the cash prize. Well, I don't, I don't want you to think that I'm forcing it on you, or, nor well, do what's I... what's the other... What are, what are my other options? Well, you could, uh, you could have a mouth organ. Okay. Or, uh... <laughs> I love it. Or, uh... I love a mouth organ. Yeah, yeah. I know you I'm do. I've, 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 I've read the bathroom walls. I know what you love. I'm going to call a harmonica mouth organ from now on. All right. That's what it's called. Right. That's his real name. Is it? Yeah, harmonica is a name invented by censors. Oh, okay. <laughs> censors. Yeah. Right. It's just a little too dirty, a mouth organ. <laughs> no, these are, uh, these are clean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go for the big cash prize? Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, sure. What time is the Thomas Davids? It's time for the big cash Three ways to win. You can either answer a question, you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You guess what's in it. If you're right, he'll tell us if you're wrong. And 
There's a third option. You can guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking. We have imagined. We've is imagined. She behind a, bars? Yes, 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 she is. We've imagined a scenario. You've jailed the Queen? Yes, yes. Let me finish. Just after her jubilee? No, it's during her jubilee. Oh, oh I see. Right. See, what's happening is we have okay. imagined a scenario in which Her Majesty the Queen has been falsely imprisoned. <laughs> And you have to guess what she's thinking. <laughs> you guess correctly, you win $50. Okay. What would you like to go for? Um, what the Queen is thinking. Okay. Her Majesty the Queen or another Queen? Her Majesty the yeah, Queen. All right. <laughs> all right, are you ready? Yeah. Elijah, what am I thinking? <laughs> Crumpets? <laughs> My first guest tonight is a fantastic actor. The season finale of his show, Wilfred, is tomorrow on the FX. Take a look at this. <laughs> Elijah Wood, everybody. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. I'm so I'm so happy for for you, Jeff. I've I've noticed that you're fully articulate. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Elijah. Yeah, yeah, this is, how does it feel? It feels good. Why don't you come over here and I'll show you? Yeah. <laughs> he just got here. What yeah. are you What are you finding you're doing with your left hand now that you can move it? <laughs> Can't say on the air, my friend. <laughs> you can now, Jeff. <laughs> I'd like to touch my chocolate. There yeah, you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, you look hey, good. Thanks, man. It's the series finale, but that's not season. No, it's season finale, not series finale. Season finale. finale. Right. Correct. So you're going to do more of them. That's that's the hope. Because yes. people love the talking dog show, man. They They're really, crazy for it. They really do. People go crazy for the New Zealand talking dog, Australian or Australian, New, Australian talking yeah. dog. It's close. Wait, close it, I see. I would have. I would have gone with a dingo. Sure. But that and it might steal might steal your baby. Yeah. 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 They're not to be trusted dingoes. No, so I don't no. suppose Wilf Wilfred is exactly I don't know. Wilfred is, you shouldn't trust Wilfred either. No. Can I just ask you a quick question about yes, Lord please. of the Rings? It's just something that occurred to me today. <laughs> it's just something that occurred to me today. Sure. Like that wasn't your feet. That wasn't your actual feet. No, no, no. Because I no, I heard my feet are not that big. Right, right. I heard a rumor. Now you, you maybe you can uh, is is it Cameron Diaz that did the feet? <laughs> Did she, desi did she design the feet? No, no, it was her feet. Uh, oh, they modeled it after her feet? No, no, no it was they... actually her feet. Like, she you was, would, she you was would like do the, the act. Foot double? Yeah, like, you saying? would do the acting and then she'd come in and go, like that with her feet. Um, I think that those were early tests. <laughs> right, and it didn't work it didn't out. It didn't work out. Uh, she really wanted the job, I bet though. she did, but, you know, they, you know, a lot of people tried out for I mean, that. those were the historic feet they would have uh, done. They're, they're, to, to, yeah. <laughs> So what's going on with you then? You're doing the Wilfred thing, but it's finale. Are you taking some time off? Are you going to enjoy time with your uh, feet? <laughs> uh, I've been working over the summer. I just finished really? a film called Cooties. Cooties? Yeah. It's <coughs> a, a horror... Uh, a horror... Yeah. A horror uh, comedy about a, um, a virus that affects kids pre-puberty. Uh, a la cooties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it I makes know. these kids savages and the teachers get stuck You're in the really school. into horror movies, aren't I you? I like horror movies. Yeah, that's, I find that teensy bit creepy, you know. You uh, think? Yeah, you add that with the super creepy feet, you got yourself a problem right there. <laughs> Why, why are you so fascinated with horror movies? I don't know. I mean, I, the, I was five years old when I first saw my first horror film, so I think I've loved them ever since. I, I, I think really you might have been traumatized if you saw it. <laughs> I was actually never really scared of them. I mean, the thing is, when you're a kid and you see those films, it's generally you're excited to see them because you're not supposed to see them. Right. So initially it's very exciting because it's taboo, and then I sort of fell in love with the genre. Of horror. Of horror films, All yeah. right. But you're such a cheerful, upbeat gentleman. Maybe that's where I get everything out. Right. Well, I see. Are you in therapy? 
Uh, not currently, but I have been. Well, uh, I, I could be your therapist for a minute. Sure. All right. So this, uh, hang on a second. Do I need to, do I need to reposition? Do I figure Yeah, if you need ready? to. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. <clears throat> Good? Yeah. Your applause doesn't help here. It's so it's just playing into his fantasy. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> I want you to relax, enjoy a chocolate dollar. Thank you. And describe the movie you saw when you were uh, five years old, the horror movie that turned you into horror. It was called Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare, with Madonna? Not the Madonna film. Okay. <clears throat> that was quite scary, though. I was going to say, that's quite scary in itself, <clears throat> right? Um, it was about a, um, a directed video film, mm. shot on video. Right. About a guy that had played Truth or Dare as a child and then loses his mind when, his, um, when he finds his wife cheating on him. And he spins out of control and starts playing Truth or Dare with himself and other people, uh, and it gets murderous. Then this masterpiece went straight to video? Mm. <laughs> and it's remained one of my all-time favorite horror really? films. Do I, I've, do I, I've honestly introduced that film to so many people. Well, you've now, and now again, tell me who's in it and where can I get a copy? I don't know who's in it. Uh, the director's called Tim Ritter. He's okay. since done, I think, five or six sequels, all direct-to-video. Right. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, sorry. Whoa, you know what happened right there. <laughs> You know what happened right there? You know what it was? A wall was, broke down is did. what happened right there. It was emphatic and I had to touch you. Yeah, no, it's okay. I'm good with it. I don't mind. I'm cool. I can have men touch me. I'm European. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> the film is fantastic. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's hilarious. Um, I have to very, say, it's very Truth gory. or Dare, directed yeah. by Tim... Tim Ritter. Tim Ritter. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's I'm fantastic. I'm going to see it. Yeah, all right. And what about your one, the cootie one? Is that any good? I hope so. <laughs> the idea. Did you direct it? I produced it. Right, okay. I'm a, a company called SpectreVision, um, which is sort of... SpectreVision? That sounds like Spectre Bond Vision. villains. <laughs> it does a bit. Yeah. So it looks like SpectreVision in our own Bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like so that, that thing about Cameron Diaz's yeah. feet, though, I just made that up, right? I would like to carry that on, though. Okay. I think, <laughs> I think maybe you made it up, but I don't really know. Well, and you, and you were on set every day, so... <laughs> I'll corroborate it. I'm sorry, we don't say the three dollar words around here, but... <laughs> corroborate it? Yeah. S sorry. <laughs> sorry. I suddenly went very aggressive there for some reason. Did you choose that red cup? No, I didn't, but I like it. Yeah, well, you can have it. This is new. Yeah. I've only ever seen black cups here. Right. Uh, it's a new thing we're trying. Great. What do you think? I think it's great. All right, well, we'll I take a very, I think it's very vibrant. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm just going, I'm going to throw a commercial break, or you can do it if you want. Mr. Um, Cameron Diaz feet. <laughs> what do you say we go to a commercial? Let's do it. Elijah Wood, who was telling me the secrets about things that you guys care about, but can never hear. <laughs> mm, Have you ever tried on that, uh, the rabbit outfit from the, from the show? <laughs> the, the dog? Yeah, you know. <laughs> dog, rabbit. It's a great slip. It, it's, very, it's very similar to Harvey. Have you ever seen Harvey? Right, exactly. That's, what I, that's why I think I said rabbit, because yeah. I have in my head rabbit, Harvey. Sure. Cameron Wilfred. Diaz, feet, Wilfred. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I see. But have you ever tried on the outfit? I did. I tried it on this year for the first time. Does and prior to that, I didn't do it because it's there's something sacred about it. I, I mean, Jason's been wearing that suit on and off for ten years. So it must smell a little bit. Sure, yeah. sure. They're yeah. ripe. But um, I, you know, it, it feels like his personal property, so I didn't mess around with it. And then I, I got the okay to try it on this year, so I, I tried it on for the first time. It's weird. Yeah, a little bit. It feels, it feels strange. Did, did, he, did he get I, aggressive? I now understand. You? No. <laughs> did he what? Did he get aggressive with you when you tried it on? He's like, take, take off the suit, man. <laughs> no, he actually wasn't around when I put he it wasn't on. Around. He did wasn't he, around. Is this the first he gets to know about it? Because you might get a phone call tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he knows about it. Okay. He knows about it. Okay. <laughs> Just, it's a little bit truth or dare. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> A little bit like, you know, did someone dare you to do it? Uh, no, but I, it, that's funny because it was actually somebody else that told me it was okay, not him directly. No, because he's not going to say it's okay, man, because it's not okay. Are you saying I was... 
I was tricked, and Jason's going to be genuinely. He's going to he's going to cut you. Like a true Australian. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to Australia? I have, yeah. That's awesome, isn't it? It's great. Right. I've only ever been to Sydney, though. Oh, you've got to get around. I've never been to Melbourne. I've heard Oh, Melbourne's amazing. fantastic, yeah. And then uh, Adelaide. Mm -hmm. And the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Perth. Perth, I've never been to. I'd quite like to go to Perth. That's the one right on the west coast, and then there's nothing for right. miles. Yeah. Yeah. Ayers Rock. No, we have to call it Uluru now. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Uluru is the real, you know, Aboriginal name oh. for it. And yeah, Ayers Rock is when the British come over and went, no, we now don't call, call it that this. anymore. We call it Ayers Rock. <laughs> my name's Ayers right. and it's my rock, so we're going to call it Ayers Rock. <laughs> right. And the other people are like, you know, we've been here for a while. Can yeah. we just go? No, no. Thousands of years. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's it. We're done. Great. Uh, awkward pause uh, or fake argument or do you want to twerk with a horse? <laughs> That is tempting. I'm gonna go with awkward pause. Don't worry about Lisa's uh, hurt her foot. That's why she was wearing a surgical. She was she's Irish and she hurt it dancing. <laughs> right? Yeah, she, that's what they do. They do little dances. Little dances. Hi, diddly dee. Hi, diddly -dee. Where's yeah. me lucky charms? I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Boston. Yeah. My first guest tonight is the, the sexiest man in the world. He's a terrific actor. His new film, Grand Piano, opens on Friday. Take a look at this. That's not funny at all! <laughs> Elijah Wood, everybody! Elijah Wood! There seems to be a malfunction with the hands. Jeff, is your hands? <laughs> Thanks. What happened to your hand, Jeff? It's okay, man. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Thanks. I couldn't help but notice that backstage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just he's to make sure he was all right. He's his hands. It was during. It was during the meditation when you, when y'all were meditating. Yeah. I just saw that you were in a meditative pose, which right, is great. Right, right, but right. But the one hand was just. What's what's happened, Jeff? Yeah. Uh, CBS cares. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. I'm you know, sorry. he, he yeah. got a moustache. You, 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 That's true? Yeah. You, I see you don't have a moustache. I don't, no. What's wrong? Well, I don't, I don't grow a very good moustache. I, I'm, I'm terrible at moustache. I tried growing one once. Can you grow a beard, though? On, only about halfway down my chest. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the top of it comes to about here, and then yeah. the rest of it's just... You don't, you, you don't get the connectors? No, I don't get the connectors. I, I get, get very connectors. little here, actually, at yeah. all. I get little patchy bits here and a bit here. Mustache is all right, but I don't know. What about uh, downstairs? It's fantastic. Yeah, me too. It's oh, like, it's, oh, it's, I can... It's, it's like a, a jungle down there. <laughs> it's a jungle. It's a jungle. Sometimes it makes me wonder how I keep, keep from, from going, going under. under. Exactly right. so. Yeah. That's right. Exactly so. <laughs> That's what that song was about. Yeah. Hey, do you want to see? A, I'm just seeing. Do you want to see a picture of me with a, my mustache? Look, yeah. Should we put the thing up? There you go. That's man. I grew my mustache. Is that wow? Yeah. People people went crazy. It's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> we we had to put mascara on it. You, this film. Did you do mascara? No, no. I've done that. Have you really? I have. I've I've had like a weedy little mustache, and I actually filled it in a little bit. But I didn't keep it. I didn't keep it for very long. Because it, 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 it just didn't to take work. a take a selfie, tweet it, and then shave yeah, it off. Done. <laughs> That's what I did. Maximum two, three days is the most. I've yeah, you can't go further than that. Unless you're, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, okay. Sure. That'll do. Yeah. Sure. So, um, this film looks scary. 
It's, yeah. I mean, it's like a an old classic thriller. It's like one of them of old a, scary horror, well, not horror, but no, kind like of... No, like a kind of Hitchcockian... Yeah. It's like Alfred Hitchcock or Brian De Palma gets compared. And, and then, you know, the, the, but you have to keep playing or you'll get shot? Yeah, that's the conceit. The idea is that I'm a, a piano player, returns the instrument after five years of being absent because he had botched a particular performance during a concert, comes back to the instrument as he's playing. He's looking through his score to see what the next bit is during a rest. And he sees there's notes written into his score. Like you die soon, Pete? And basically, kind of like, yeah, if, you, if yeah. you mess up, you'll be shot, you and your wife. And so the whole, about 70% of the movie is my character trying not to... Can you play the piano? Um, <laughs> well, <clears throat> not as well as it would seem. Because um. <laughs> you were like looking up and play. That's the hardest thing to do, look up and play. Yeah, it is. That's really hard. Yeah, well, don't do it again. What's harder is, uh, is playing and talking at the same time. Because really? in the film, yeah, I mean, obviously I can't play like that. I took lessons when I was young, when I was between 10 to 14, but then I quit like a lot of kids do. I was oh, on, you like, discovered something more interesting than piano at about 14? <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, you didn't, you, didn't so, you didn't so much quit the instrument as change the instrument. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> to the skin flute? Is oh, hey! Hey, come on, man! Guys. Let's try and keep it the tone. Uh, never mind. So anyway, um, in the film, I am approximating the the instrument, but there there's scenes, there's particular shots where I'm listening to John Cusack's voice, having to respond to him with dialogue, and also listen to the music and be on time. It was intense. That sounds like reading the news, man. You don't want to do that. No. They've got, they've got, even when they're in the, they tried to do that when I started here. They said, we'll give you an earpiece so we can give you instruction. Oh, no. Yeah. So that during the show, they would, they would direct you they, they, the they, Well, no, I never let them do it, but it was like, yeah, you know, Craig, could you ask him no. how, what it's like to work with George Clooney? It's a terrible yeah. idea. I know it's a terrible idea. No, actually, it's not a terrible idea. I've just heard it's not a terrible idea. <laughs> no, they, want, they asked me if I wanted to do it right at the beginning. You know, there are some actors I've heard that actually have that as a common thing and will have music playing while they're in a scene or sometimes what? have dialogue read to them. How can you do your pretending if all that's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I've I do to know, imagine. I don't know if I could do it. I do know one actor who, I, I, there's, well, two actors, but one of the actors is very famous yes. and one of the actors is not famous at all. And yes. the not famous actor told me this story that he was doing a scene with this very famous actor whose name I'll tell you in the commercial break. <laughs> and, and the very famous actor was writing his lines on post-it notes and putting it on his forehead. <laughs> So that when he was doing his singles, he would turn and look and go and read the line and, and then go back. And he was, you know who it is, right? I've heard the story. Yeah, yeah. It's a great story. Yeah, and it's true. Do we you know guys who... don't get to hear it. Yeah. And we can't tell you who it is. Christopher Walken. We'll be right back with Elijah Wood, everybody. Welcome back. We were just about to make out, but we won't now, obviously. <laughs> obviously, we won't then. I, uh, so, we were just talking about you uh, thinking maybe you'd want to um, go and swim with sharks. I would love to do that. Would you really? Sure. Yeah. I've done it, actually. So have I. Have you? Where? The Bahamas. Same. Stuart's uh, Cove's uh, diving thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's an amazing experience. Really I is. will never do it again. <laughs> Were you frightened? No, I loved it. Yeah, I, I sort of die, yeah. It's two dives. You did the, you did the two things, right? The, the two, the, the, first the, the sand dive in the circle, and yeah. the, the big sharks, and they're like, they're, mm, and then on the wreck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, on a wreck. Oh, yeah. See, so we did a seawall. So uh, ah, seawalls sea wall. for... <laughs> yeah, no, the, the wreck. The, <laughs> it's a, can I say that word? It's a Scottish word. You're a racist, man. Ooh, la, la. The Scottish word. Scottish word. Yeah, see, he yeah. said it. He's a light Friday. word. <laughs> he has to be able to say that. Dude, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Look, does that just give me free license? To yeah. Tootsie Fruits. Do what you want. Sure. Yeah, you know you can. Well. Yeah, come on, man. You're like a nerd god now. <laughs> 
Maybe at Comic Con I could do that. Yeah, you could, but anybody can do anything they like at Comic Con. That's the glory of it. That's true. You just don't want to. No. You see everybody, you're like, put it back on, everybody. Yeah. yeah. I've actually been to uh, I've been to a fetish party there. There's like a strange event that happens. You intrigue me. Year. <clears throat> no. There's a strange event that happens every year, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, and I went one year, and it's sort of, I mean, it's not, you know, eyes wide shut sort of happenings. Uh, but it's like vaguely fetishistic and people in kind of bondage. And are here. people getting up to nonsense uh, around the... No, it didn't ever go, it was sort of PG-13, mm. you know. But and I'm afraid I, I won't be going. It was bizarre. <clears throat> it was bizarre. I'm, I'm at the eyes wide shut party sitting in a chair naked smoking a cigar. <laughs> Young people do things for me. Ha! ha. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, um, we're out of time. Are we really? Yeah. I was kind of sad I didn't get to enjoy your meditation. That seemed great. You want to meditate a little bit? I'd love to meditate. Let's do it. I think this audience would particularly love it. They've been doing it the whole show. Yeah. <laughs> excited to see you than they were to see me. They're very excited to see you. I am very excited to see you. I'm excited to see you. Mm, I don't think... And those dance moves. Did, yeah. you that, did you do that every break? You do a little dance? Well, I, I, I had a steak during the break this time. And I, eh, you know, uh, do you like steak? Are you ve you're a vegetarian, aren't you? Oh, no, sir. No? Staunchly not a vegetarian. Staunchly not yeah, a vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll get letters yeah. now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a letter. That's someone writing a letter. I was acting there. Congratulations. This is the last season of... It's uh, the last season of Wilf. Last season of the Drink and Smoke and Talk and Dog That's show. That's right. Yeah. That's a shame. I think TV shame. needs a lot of, you know, that kind of thing. A dog and a guy sitting in a basement uh, smoking a bong. Sure. It's kind of my kind of TV, son. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What else is going on there? What are you going to do then? You're going to DJ more? Is that what's going to happen? I'll be doing that more. Yeah, I've been doing that on the side anyway. I'll probably keep doing that. That's, uh, that's a right. world I don't understand, man. No? No. Well, like, like my, my oldest boy is kind of into it, and I'm like, what are you doing? You're going to break those records. <laughs> like, you're you're going to scratch them and stuff. Does he play with vinyl? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Is because it? A lot, I don't know. a lot of people now, it's, I mean, we live in a day and age in which everybody's a DJ because they can plug in an iPod or, or use their computer. And they can just play digital files, but you know, to, to buy records and play records, that's a big deal. Well, you know, in my day, just about everybody was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't seen as anything of a skill, really. You just, you just hey. put it on and go, well, that's great. Yeah. Put that, another one on. Another one. That one's good too. Yeah. 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 So now, I talk, how do you learn it? That you, you go like that with your finger. Oh, I'm not a scratch DJ. Oh, yeah. oh, Ralph. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I feel such a fool. <laughs> I should have made the distinction. No, I just, I, I don't have any particular skill beyond. You sh but hang on. You should beyond. host this show. You should host this show. <laughs> I'd love to host this. You know, that would be a thing. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. You could do it. I, well, I don't know if that's true. Uh, why not? Man? But I'd certainly give it a go. Well, that's all you need to do. Yeah. Why? I'll give it to you right now if you want. <laughs> Unfortunately, before you start going, oh, that's a good idea. Uh, it's, it's not mine. Uh, I can't give it to you. you. I can't don't give it to me. It's well, not I don't. To give. I don't run America. Right. I, I, some people think I do, right. but I don't. I'd love to host the show. Okay. All right. Great. 
Well, I'll, uh, I'll get your application forwarded to the right people. Then. Fantastic. All right, good, Fantastic. Good, I'll good. fill that out after the show. Right, fill it out after the show, and right. remember to leave two references. Fantastic. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Secretariat and Jeff. I yeah. Didn't, yeah, man. Oh, no, 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 no. They're coming with me. Oh, copy that. Yeah, yeah. I thought maybe they could vouch for me. Can you vouch for him, Jeff? Yeah, funny stuff, Elijah. You're the man. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Jeff. Wow. Yeah, man. Thank you. That, yeah. that would work. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. You're halfway there. You've already got that little You're fancy. halfway there. And I don't quite know what one does with Secretariat. I suppose one dances with Secretariat, right? Is that the move? Yeah. It's so if you're the host, yeah. which you are, so you know about this, mm -hmm. you, you dance and then you, you refer and you get yes or you ask yes or no questions because all it can do is not or shake its head. You're giving away all my secrets, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a lay of the land. No, in case, no, you do. clearly you, know? you can think on your feet. So, like, tell me what you do with your DJ and then. You, right. you, you don't scratch, you play the record, and then suddenly it's, there's it's, another record. Right. Yeah. So basically, it's just, uh, all I do, it's music selection. So I, I plan... Oh, it's like making a mixtape for your girlfriend. <laughs> Except my girlfriend happens to be upwards of 500 to 1,000 people. Yeah, I was like that in the 80s, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's picking songs, it's playing a song while that one's playing, queuing up another one, being mindful of the BPM, the beats per minute. Oh, okay. So all right. And then do people come up and go, can you play a song for my sister? It's her birthday. <laughs> that happens. Requests are the worst thing. Yeah, I know. It's it really the, is the worst. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. I'd get upset and go, get out of here. I go back to when I was younger, and I'm sure I made a request, and I, I would chide myself now. Because it's a horrible thing. When you're playing records, you do not want... And oftentimes, the things that people request are the, the worst. What, what do they possible. request, then? Like... You know, um, my cat died, that kind of thing? I don't know. His it'll favorite be, song it'll be, was? It'll yeah. be Beyonce, which is fine, but typically not what I have with me. Ah, I see, yeah, I play yeah, a yeah. lot of old music. Really? What do you like in the, in the music uh, categories? Do you like the Led Zeppelins? I love them. Sure, the Led Zeppelins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. One of the greatest rock bands of all time. Mm, possibly. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, the, uh, who else then? Is that the kind of thing you like? The Ramones. Tom oh, Ramones. the Ramones. Yeah. Yeah. The good thing about a Ramones is, you know, if you didn't like a Ramones song, first of all, then you didn't like the band because they're pretty much... All the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. But if you didn't, there'd be another one along in a minute. You yeah. know, it'd be fine. Yeah, There's, a couple minutes. Yeah, a couple of minutes. Couple There's minutes. another one. Um, yeah, you like the punk rock then, eh? Sure. Yeah, mm. sure. Mm. I like disco music. I like... Um, what? Yeah, I actually do, which is, seems antithetical to look. No, it's kind of making a comeback now with that Daft Punk thing and everything. Sure. Everybody's kind of like, but it was great. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the bummer about that is that song was great. It got good played song. a lot, overplayed for, to a certain degree. Right. Then it got usurped by blurred lines, and I got real sick of that real Oh, much. yeah, me? I don't know what we're saying now. <laughs> remember, the, it was the music video with the naked dancing girls. Oh, yeah, that. I know the one. Yeah, with, the Robin, uh, Thicke. Robin Thicke. Yeah, That's the guy right. that did the twerking with the Beetlejuice pants. Correct. Right, uh, yeah. Correct. Um, that, yeah, you know, I, in a way, I'm glad I'm not part of that, you know, <laughs> thing. You know, uh, in, what, in what way are you not well, part of that thing? you know, thing? when I was a young gentleman enjoying music, you know, we wore safety pins and yelled at each other and, you know... <laughs> Were you into punk rock? Were oh, you? I was in punk rock bands, my friend. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? I was like, ah! Did you drum in punk rock mm -hmm. bands? That's awesome. Yeah. What, if were I was in the, your... what were some of the names of your punk rock? Bastards this from you Hell. Were... I was in the Bastards from Hell. Yes! <laughs> yes, you were. Yeah. What, you, you know our stuff? No, I know, but I really want to. <laughs> it was never recorded. Was this in Edinburgh? No, in Glasgow. In Glasgow? Yeah, yeah, so Glasgow. You're, from, you're from Glasgow. Hmm. You're doing this show now, aren't you? <laughs> You can do the show. You can do work. Yeah, I think, I, think it'd be I think it'd be great. What are you doing that shrug you know what, for then? You know what else I like? Well, that could be your thing. You could come on, instead of saying it's a great day for America, you can do that thing. Like huh? that. Yeah. I could just come out without any words and just kind of go, eh. No, nah, that's like you Larry. That's like you're Larry did with, that. That's his me. thing. Larry the Larry the guy. Uh, Larry? Yeah, yeah. Larry doesn't. He feels like kind of weird about steak. <laughs> you know, Larry. He's over there. He's got the plaid shirt on. Oh, 
Oh, I missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Larry, do you feel weird about steak? He doesn't don't feel weird about it. He's kind of like on the fence about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is Larry a vegetarian? No, I asked him that. He's kind of hedging. He's just not sure. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, on the know. fence. Yeah, he's on the fence. He's on the fence. He's on the fence with that. He's yeah. The, I think that's even what he said. Yeah, I'm on the fence about steak. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sure a... I should ask you something. Shoot, I'm here. <laughs> or we could. <laughs> yeah. Just pick something off your nose. There? I think so. Yeah. Sorry. I just had like a little wanna, lint or something. Do you wanna? Do you wanna... Here, uh, Are those frisbees? Yeah. You want? Yeah. You wanna... Wait, you wanna... Oh, thank you. Oh. Is this a puppet? <laughs> oh. Fantastic. I don't... <laughs> the illusion's totally broken. No, you no, man, arm. watch. It's not. People don't care about ah, the illusion. Watch this. Watch this. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. The minute you put the puppet on, yeah. the puppet springs to life, and the puppet goes, Ay, caramba! <laughs> <laughs> people are like, that's awesome. That is awesome. It's a puppet. Ooh la la. Because everybody knows that something cute saying, Groggy! It's the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm here with Lodge Wood, but we're out of, uh, out of time. Oh, no! I was pretty good. You're a pretty good actor. Thanks. <laughs> All right, now we're out of time, but you're not that happy about it. I'm not really. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, you're really good. <laughs> Give me another one. What's another one? All right, then. Uh, uh, we're out of time, uh, but you've just smelled something. <laughs> oh, no. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, we're out of time, yeah. and you've, there's a ghost. <laughs> I'm scared there for a minute. <laughs> we're really out of town. That's it. Are we? Oh, see, I was trying to, but I can't do it. Are you going to Comic Con? Um, I will be at the. At yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. Gonna go down there. Yeah, you want a carpool? Sure. You're going down? I am now. Great. <laughs> now, I'm the, DJing down there. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, what do you call it? In uh, moderating the Game of Thrones panel. Yeah. And the Big Bang Theory panel. Wait, what? Yeah. You're moderating the Game of Thrones panel. The Game of Thrones panel. That's yeah, awesome. that's right. That's right. Nice. Nice. That's right. Winter is coming, bitches! <laughs> That's amazing. Are you a fan of the show? Love it, yeah. I love that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do the Big Bang Theory, and right. I'm going to do uh, the DreamWorks one. And what? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going Comic Con crazy. That's awesome. And I'm going to do one, me and Jeff are going to do one. You're going to do your own panel? Your own panel? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you going down to Comic Con? Yeah, I'm going to pick up some dudes, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go trolling for guys in costumes. Yeah, there's lots of yeah. them there. Oh, lots of yeah. them. Hey, well, listen, we're out of time. We're out of time. Elijah Wood, everybody. everybody.